We were looking for a place off the beaten path. Tiny little plane to a tiny little island. This chill island paradise should fit the bill nicely. Welcome to Condal, Vietnam. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Condal is a real gem tucked away in the South China Sea. There's pristine beaches, gorgeous lush jungle, and uh, at times sad but very interesting history. A lot of Condal's history was really kind of traumatic. Puto Camp was built in 1925. During the French colonial period, it was largely just a prison island. And also during the Vietnam War, it was an American prison camp. But since then, it's become a symbol of resilience to the Vietnamese people and a beautiful nature reserve. Condal is a group of 16 islands. It's kind of a secret paradise. The main island where we're at now is also called Condal. Pretty much where all the action is. I think there was a few resorts on some of the outlying islands, but the full-time population on this one is right about 8,000. So it might be where the action is, but there's not a lot of action to be had. Great place to come and relax and to grab a coconut. And in case you're interested in getting another few workouts while you're here. No pain, no gain. It is exactly one mile from that pier down there to the end of the beach, so two mile round trip. Hey, math. Math is a really cool thing. It's a bit windy today, which is kind of a theme around here, but with this kind of a view, who can complain? This is one of our favorite beaches. It's right in Kansan town. It's easy to get to. Conveniently enough, the access to it is one of our favorite places to eat, Bar 200. It's about the only place we've found so far on the island that takes credit cards, at least international credit cards. That's been a big help to us trying to save on our cash supplies a little bit. In the money game, cash is king. They also have one of my favorite things I've had here, the breakfast calzone. Calzones are pointless. I know, we're in Vietnam, but you gotta give this thing a shot. Waiting for lunch to be delivered. Careful, she bites. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Thank you, come on. This is the breakfast calzone. I mean, you'd be like, so what? It's just a calzone. Pizza is your grandfather's calzone. It's a wonderful pizza crust calzone stuffed with smoked sausages, egg, cheese, and ham. One of my favorite things that I've eaten in Vietnam. Yes, it's not Vietnamese food, but look at that. Smoked sausages. Mm. This is amazing. It was a calzone. Judge me all you want. That's a 10 out of 10. Catch in a bit. Now that we're all fueled up and ready for adventure, we head out to explore the island by scooter. Really easy to rent one from our hotel. I'm sure your hotel will have them too. There's families of monkeys all over the island, but they seem to be a little more nervous of people than some of the ones we're used to, so that was a nice change. The ride around the island is easy enough for pretty much any ability level due to the nice paved road that goes all the way over to the national park. No, this isn't the national park, it's just the port, but it looked pretty, so we're gonna check it out. This is the National Park. We're not sure what we're doing, and there is a giant price list with a ton of different things, so I think we're just gonna smile and say two, please, and see how that works. We've just made it to the famous Condal National Park. You gotta buy your ticket down the hill, 50,000 dong, which is about 250 per person. You park your bike, the rest of it's all on foot. This is all the choose your own adventure hike. There's some beaches up here. There's turtle sanctuaries. There's caves. We're gonna see what we can find. There's a path right now. Feeling there's no question anymore. And now I stand here. I just learned from the sign here that these are called lianas. They're vines that begin life on the forest floor where they only get one to 2% of the sunlight. They're a little more clever, so they climb up the other trees, knitting intricate webs between the trunks of branches, and eventually take over their host trees. My grandma always said company was like fish. They stay too long, they start to stink. in this direction for about a half hour. We decided to turn around and head back because we did the cardinal sin. I'll bring our little bottle of water, thinking that somewhere around here they would sell water before we got on our hike. No. We're headed back in the opposite direction. 
<laughs> so be warned, always bring enough water. It's been downhill that way. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, we have one, we had two little bottles, and we have one left. So back that way. We wandered around in the National Park. Amazing walk up through there. We never did make it to the beach. It was stunning. We ended up going out a different way. We didn't have any water left, so we just canned it. But we walked around up there for a couple hours. Definitely recommend it. Most beautiful walk we've been on in a long time. And now we're down at what is supposed to be the best beach in Condal. It's the one right behind the airport. Got to pay 5,000 to park your scooter. And I think it's 3,000 to get in, but we'll find out in a minute. 3,000, okay. If you over 60, I'm not over 60. I'm not quite that old. Come on. Ten more. Give me tickets. Interest fee is only three thousand dong, which is not very much. I don't remember. I can't do math right now. But if you're over sixty, it's free. We're not there yet. All right, beach is pretty darn nice. The airplanes land right there, but no big airplanes land here. Just the little ones. I can see why this beach people say it's one of their favorites. It's long. The sand is wonderful, and the entertainment is the planes come in and watch everybody go crazy over them. <laughs> But of course, we're waiting for one of those planes too. So, where are those crazy people? Swept my feet off the ground, left me on the floor. This is a really neat beach. It took about, a, I'd say about a half hour to get here um, from town. I would recommend coming. Chris is about to get in the water. I'm staying on land. He said the water is clear and it's very chilly. little coffee shop right on the corner next to the Havana Condo Hotel. It's right next to our hotel. This is the secret local spot. Every afternoon, all the taxi drivers gather here for coffee. I figured it had to be amazing coffee if all the taxi drivers are here, so giving it a shot. Xin chào. How are you today? Did you just get iced coffee? That is really good. Very strong. It's really good, is it? It's very good. Tasty. Very strong. Cafe dog. Little stands across the street. I got what is supposed to be the number one milk coffee. The ice sweet milk coffee. That's pretty darn good. All right, the taxi drivers are right. Come to this place, get an iced coffee, and then continue your day. It's the same day. We just went back to the hotel and took a shower real quick. We needed it after being on the scooter all day. Condau is such a lovely mix of Vietnamese culture and chill island vibes. The locals are just warm and welcoming, always willing to help us with Vietnamese since we speak none and uh, everybody tries with their English to help us. It make, makes it really easy to get around. Despite the fact that I had calzone for breakfast. I love calzone. <laughs> we know. The local food is wonderful. We're gonna take you to our favorite local place called Susu, or as Katie likes to call it, a pick and point place. This little walking path runs right downtown parallel to the boardwalk. I love this place because I never know what I want and everything's in picture form and I can just pick and point and they scoop it up and give it to me. Usually costs about two to four dollars for a meal. Best food in Condal, number one table tea, which is absolutely delicious. Got the little bowls, got the sauces, got the steaming fire of death around here somewhere, which is right there. Come on. Uh -huh. Come on. Sorry. <laughs> I ate something that had a little bit of spice to it. They give you rice, and then they you have string beans and a pickled something that comes with everything. And soup. Soup is uh, very, is light, really good. Sometimes it has a little bit of a fish flavor. First thing I tried was this. I am not sure what it is. It's cut up meat, but I like it because it has a little bit of gristle in it, so it's a little chewy. Really good. One of my favorite things is their pork chops. They grill them as you saw out front, and they're delicious. Mm -hmm. 
This place is a 10. I love the food here. The kids always run up and make sure to say hi to us. This little boy that's sitting at the other side of the room, he came over, ran over, he goes, hello. And then he gave us a thumbs up. And then he ran off. <laughs> Bet. Would you go? <laughs> you fall. That was a massive amount of food. We're both stuffed and it was less than $8. It was like $6. That's also another reason why I love this place. Crazy. There's something really cool we haven't mentioned yet. It's got an interesting. There's these loudspeakers around and every night there, I assume it's the news, but as we've already covered, I don't speak Vietnamese, so I don't know what it is, but there's announcements that go on for like 45 minutes or an hour out of the loudspeakers like all over town every night. We're gonna grab some uh, water, head back to the hotel, and we will catch up with you a bit later. There are tons of trails and pathways all over the island, so you can explore without using a scooter. We spent most of our two weeks here hanging out on the beach or wandering these trails, which to Katie's delight, had a bunch of cows and other animals along them. Hey, little guy. For a special culinary delight, head up to the beach house, which by the way is nowhere near the beach. We tried about half of their menu and everything we had was absolutely amazing. This little island was just amazing, but the signs of development are everywhere, so if you're gonna come, I'd probably come now. Kinda hard to beat that for gorgeous. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Click the thumbs up and subscribe. Oh, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>